Nepal on war footing as quarter of population hit by quake. Nepal is on the war footing as it tries to help survivors following Saturday's earthquake, its prime minister says. Sushil Khoi Harala said the government was doing all it could but was overwhelmed. The UN has estimated that 8 million people have been affected, more than a quarter of the population. Foreign aid is arriving but being hampered by congestion at Kathmandu's Seoul airport. The death toll from the 7.8 magnitude quake is now 4,356, but Mr. Khoi Harala said it could reach 10,000. The government is doing all it can for rescue and relief on a war footing in a difficult hour for Nepal. Mr. Koi Harala told Reuters news agency. He has also admitted that lack of equipment and expert personnel meant the appeals for rescues coming in from everywhere in many cases could not be met. Almost 8,000 people are known to have been injured when the quake hit and in numerous powerful aftershocks which have sent people fleeing from their homes to camp on open ground. Water, food and electricity are in short supply and there are fears about breaks of disease. According to initial estimations and based on the latest earthquake intensity mapping, 8 million people in 39 districts have been affected, of which over 2 million people live in the 11 severely affected districts, said the most recent report from the UN Office of the Resident Coordinator. Landslips and periodic bad weather in the remote mountainous region around the epicenter are adding to the challenge. Rebecca McTeer, an American doctor who was one of the first to arrive in the district of Gorkut close to the epicenter told Associated Press that 90% of houses there were just flattened. She said most residents were older men and women and children, as the younger men had left to find work elsewhere. Many have also lost livestock and have little food. However, a spokesman for Nepal's Home Ministry told the BBC that helicopters were air-dropping tents, dry food and medicine, though they were yet to reach many isolated communities. This camp had been set up on a playground and even now there are quite a few children playing but it no longer resembles a safe place. There's rubbish everywhere, paper plates, wrappers and plastic glasses are strewn all over. It's getting quite bad, says one man who is here with his wife and four daughters. We've been here for three days and we've been living on instant noodles. There's nothing else to eat. His house is not badly damaged, but he is at a man that he will not go home despite the challenging conditions in the camp. We've heard all these rumors about more earthquakes and aftershocks. We will not leave this place, not for a while. Homeless and hungry survivors the day the quake hit my home how long can survivors last under rubble? Nepal quake special report the Nepal government has pleaded for overseas aid, everything from blankets and helicopters to doctors and drivers. We urged foreign countries to give us special relief materials and medical teams. We are really desperate for more foreign expertise to pull through this crisis," said Chief Secretary Leela Mani Padal. Many countries have sent aid including India, China, the UK and US. But there is a logjam at Kathmandu Airport, with individuals trying to fly out of the country while flights of aid and rescue teams wait to land. On Monday, four Indian Air Force aircraft had to return to Delhi International Airport after encountering congestion at Kathmandu, tweeted a spokesman for India's Defence Ministry. Almost the entire Nepali army and police have